In this video, we're going to take disconnected and clunky sounding notes and connect them together to make them sound smooth using Logic Pro's force legato function. This will really contribute to making your melodies and chords sound more professional. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of different chords, but there's gaps in between the chords. And that's going to make it sound kind of clunky. Let's give it a listen. So really big gaps and it kind of makes it uncomfortable to listen to. It's not very smooth. And so, especially if you have different ends, different lengths of the ends, like over here, it can be really problematic trying to move them all over to line up to the next line. So what we're going to use to fix that is Logic's Force Legato, which means smooth in music, Legato. We're going to use the Force Legato feature to line these all up and kind of butt them all against each other. So the first thing you do is hold down Command and then A for Select All. I mean, you could drag select them if you want to. Command A, select them all. Now make sure that your mouse is actually hovering over one of the notes, like on top of it. If it's not, and we right click, we get this menu that doesn't have the options we need. So instead, we go over that note, directly over it, and now we're gonna right click on it. And look what comes up, this big menu here, and we're gonna go down to where it says this. Trim note N to the following notes for legato. And there's also a shortcut next to it. Um, I've noticed that in different versions of Logic, this changes, so yours may say like Shift F or something. Mine's uh, upward arrow, Shift, and then the um, backslash. So I can either click this, or on my keyboard, I can hold down Shift and hit that backslash. And then it's probably gonna give us this menu. It doesn't do this in all versions of Logic, but if it gives you an option, what you wanna do is hit Shorten. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make anything that was overlapping um, just butt right up against each other. So I'm gonna hit shorten and boom. Now my chords are gonna have no gap in between them. They're all gonna be uh, forced to be played back smoothly or legato. So everything sounds smooth now. Um, not all instruments react in the same way though. Sometimes when you're recording instruments, um, they actually have to have the notes overlap and not just smash up against each other. So they'll have to be like this, where one note goes beyond the start of the next note. And that'll trigger your software instrument to play back the way it's supposed to, or legato playing. Let's go now to a melody. Okay, so we have We don't have to listen to any more of that. It's bad. It's so separate, right? Select everything in here, right click, and force legato. Let's play it back now. So it is better, um, but in this case, the software instrument actually is um, expecting you to overlap the note. If you don't, it plays individual bow strokes. Um, and that would be like going back and forth on the violin. Da, uh, 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 uh. Every time you do that, it makes kind of a gripping sound. And that wouldn't be how it's normally played on the violin. So for cases like this, you're actually gonna wanna first force legato. And then there's a couple ways you can um, make them actually overlap um, more so that it will properly trigger the response of the software instrument. Okay? Um, one way you can do that is you can just go to the edge of any note after you've selected them all. Notice they're not quite touching, they're right up against each other. We're going to actually take the bottom of this note and we're going to drag it to the right just slightly. Now all the notes drag slightly to the right. Notice in front of my cursor here and over here as well, all the notes are getting their ends lengthened by a small amount. It doesn't really matter much. It just needs to be enough to trigger this violin to say, switch to a different recording where everything was smoothly played or legato. If any notes are repeat notes, the same note, you do have to re-bow it to play that note. And so we're just gonna go into any note like this that shouldn't have an overlap because it's the same note and hit the shortcut, shift, backslash or whatever it happens to be. Go find some more. Here's one, two. Force 
legato to remove that. It does need to overlap the end. So overlap that. Repeated note. Um, at the end, when it comes next to a new note, overlap, overlap that. And this last one, same thing. Now that should sound correct. Let's give it one last listen. Smooth again. And smooth here. 